Last time on Survivor Guys. That scream will not stop the Survivor Guys! Fishing is a very patient task. Don't eat red. Are you sure you read this right? We no longer have a direct path. All we have is open forest, wild predators, and the ongoing challenge of survival. A dense population of trees and wildlife. We'll have a lot of ground to cover if we plan on making it out of the woodland. Now that we're in the forest, we're in a much more dangerous wilderness. We're sharing this forest with top predators like mountain lions and bears. So in order to keep our presence unknown and keep us safe, we need to become one with the forest. Survival guy. All these ferns and small branches will make an excellent camouflage. covered our body and now we need to cover our scents. This mud right here will be an excellent odor cover and it'll also protect us from the sun. Phase one is complete, but if we're truly going to be able to survive and hunt in this environment, we're going to need to make some weapons. Survival guys! I used the tree's leverage to sharpen it for me. Killer weapon. What I have here is a natural club. and use this long grass to double the effectiveness of my spear. Not only will it be a spear, but it will also be an excellent whip. Clubs are usually shorter. And so what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and shorten this club by smacking against that tree. It's also a good way to ford off predators. All right, a good thing about a long club is it's got more range. So I think what I'm gonna do, since we're out in the wilderness and there's big predators, I'm gonna keep a big club. Now that I've finished my spear whip, I'll show you the deadly accuracy and effectiveness of this weapon. Small insect on that branch. Insect gone. And dead. Survival guys! Now we're ready to tackle the forest. Not only will predators have a hard time tracking us, but potential prey will have a hard time sensing us. Yes, and that's why...
we've been pushed further into the forest now. We just used a lot of energy. Be a good idea to find a place to rest for a bit. We stumbled upon a natural camping site. It's got cover and uh, it's got shade and warmth. And those are the main things you need to survive. I think right here be a good fire spot. You know, the ground's moist, but not too wet where a fire won't start, but we also know it won't spread. Smokey the Bear always says, only you can prevent forest fires, and we're gonna live by that code. What I'm doing is the bore technique. What you wanna do is you wanna find a good spot where small particles of wood will fall out as you do this. Now this wood is kind of damp, but there's five a guy never gives up. You know, I have matches. The whole pack. After many unsuccessful attempts at starting a fire, we decide to rest for a bit. Survival guys! It'd be a good time to move on. Looks like. Several hours may have passed. Good rest. More energy to finish off the day. I, I appear to have stumbled upon a Native American trap of some sort. It definitely looks like one of those ancient Native American traps left over from the 1800s. Used to trap small animals and possibly prisoners. This is actually a great opportunity to show you how to escape from such a trap. Take it away. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, when you're in a situation like this and you're, you're in your most vulnerable state, you're dangling up from a tree. What you want to do is find a way to get out of being dangled over a tree. One thing you can do, okay, grab the knife. Okay. When nature throws you a curveball and you don't have a knife, you can use leverage. You can use your abs. In a trap such as this, there's no possible way of getting out. It's inconceivable. So in a situation like this, what you're going to want to do is call your partner. Your partner will come and save you. Ah! Right now, bring the camera over here. Right now, come on, look at this. You guys gotta see this. 